Do you hear that? Of course you do. You probably see it. This is the fast charging 7.5 amp hour battery from Ego. You know what that means. And with the lights on. So this obviously means I have picked up the new uh, brushless 56 volt Ego lawnmower with the 7.5 amp hour fast charging system. Um, we are going to talk about that in just a second. So as you can see here, I ended up picking up the Ego and it definitely uh, was a lot more expensive than the other option, which was maybe the Cobalt or the Harbor Freight brand. Um, but so far, I'm really happy with this. Uh, just a quick uh, overview here of what you get in the box. This is what the box looks like. You obviously get the fast charger system here with the battery and the charging unit. Uh, you get the bag, obviously, and then you get an extra uh, blade. I'll flip the mower over here in a second. Um, and then you also get the side chute discharge. And we'll go over the mower right now. I don't know about you, but this reminds me of the F-117A Stealth Fighter from back in the day. Kind of has this sort of retro 80s look maybe. I don't know, they're going for a futuristic design. It's okay in my book. Um, handle, obviously right here in the front. This helps uh, maneuvering it if you need to stand it up or put it down after you folded it up. Um, battery compartment. So the battery compartment opens up um, so that the battery slides in here on an angle. Um, the top of the battery has a LED indicator so you actually can see it from when you're um, when you're mowing the yard. And this is obviously um, a see-through plastic panel here. On the left side is the ride height adjustment. This is super easy. There's no button, nothing. You just pull it towards you and you can adjust on the fly what height you want. It's very easy to use, one-handed as you can see. And I'll tell you what, this uh, quick adjustment lever is awesome. This thing is the greatest thing in the world. It is so easy to use, one-handed. Hit it and you can adjust and then it locks into place. There's no pins, there's nothing that slides in and out into holes that you have to try to align. It's literally just push and it locks into place. It's nice. And these clips are amazing too. Right now I have it in the down position. Um, you just have to pop these clips open, extend, extend it out. They snap into place and you're ready to go. It's really, really easy to get this thing up and running. Uh, so here in the cockpit, let's go over the controls. You probably have already seen some other videos about it, so I'm not gonna get too in depth. Um, obviously, this here on the left and the right, these are your self-propelling triggers. Um, either one will initiate the self-propelling. You don't need to press both of them at the same time, so if you're just doing a one-handed on this, or one-handed on this side, doesn't matter. This is gonna be your um, speed control. So self-propelling, self if you have it all the way down here, it's actually off. You hit the button, nothing's gonna happen. Um, so you turn it up here and, and you basically, you can hear a click. It depends on how fast you wanna go. Uh, down below here, there's some readouts. So here's your LED on and off switch. And then these will light up depending on what's happening um, with the battery. So I, I haven't actually seen these turn on yet, um, or if they are turned on, it's so bright outside in the sun that I can't tell. But um, I haven't had any issues with obviously the battery, um, even low, low battery warning or anything like that. I haven't had any issues with that. Um, but anyway, these are some indicators right here so that you can see what's going on. Um, this is your power button. So as you can see here, it says to depress the power button and then pull this um, next, right, the, the lever bar here in the back, pull this. So let me turn it on here for you. <laughs> of course, uh, I blew grass everywhere in my, <laughs> in my garage, but hey, you know, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, it's actually a lot quieter than the Ryobi. And it's um, quieter than the 
um, a Lowe's brand, the Cobalt brand that my neighbor has. He noticed when I was when I was using this the other day that it's a lot quieter. It's quieter quieter than the Ryobi as well, the, the previous one that I had. Um, and then also, as you can see here, without turning it on, you can just hit this and um, it'll fire up the self-propel if you need to just get around the yard without turning on the blades. I think it's hilarious that I blew grass clippings over my garage, but anyway, you know, things happen, uh, especially when you're trying to film for YouTube and uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So um, the underside, uh, one thing to keep in mind, it's always a good idea to pull the battery out before you try to do any of this. So that's what I've already done. Um, main difference between this and that Ryobi I had before, this is a um, plastic, um, some kind of plastic uh, deck. So it's much lighter than the Ryobi. As you can see here also, it's pre-installed with two blades. Um, the top blade, this back one here, this one always stays on, um, but you can switch out this bottom blade here. The one that is installed is like a, a basic mulching blade from my understanding. And then the one that comes in the box is some Edge Premium Tri-Cut Blade. So, uh, haven't had a chance to try this out. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because my lawn right now, um, it's, I live in North Carolina, it's the middle of summer, and um, my yard is, is struggling a little bit, so um, anyway, this is fine. For what I'm doing, this is fine, it's no big deal. Um, and it works really well. Um, I mean, you can see just from these clippings here, I mean, this is, this is very fine. Um, and then in the yard, it doesn't look that bad either. Um, I've been mulching exclusively so far. So yeah, um, this is a really good system. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to get Ego is because I had a dual blade system on my Honda. I wanted something similar um, for my electric mower and it's nice that you get this added blade and who knows, um, maybe it works better um, when, when the grass is a lot thicker. So this is really nice. And um, I thought I would want the steel deck in the Ryobi, but after I've been using this, I'm totally fine with this plastic. Um, I just, I just, you know, you have to be very careful that you're not hitting any big rocks or anything or um, anything that could potentially maybe crack the deck, but I, I honestly, I don't see that happening for a residential application. And of course the charging system, I mean, this, this is amazing. Uh, it's, it's somewhat comical, the fact that this rapid charging system has a built-in fan to make sure that it keeps everything cool, the circuits and the battery. Um, if you remember that Ryobi I had, that thing was smoking. It was like 130, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and it took a really long time to charge. It took, um, I can't remember, I think it was like five hours or something when I got it out of the box. Um, but this, this is really quick. I mean, this, this thing charges in about an hour. And this battery, I've been able to mow the lawn twice on one charge, no problem. So... So far, the quality, at least, the unit I got here, this seems to be working as perfectly as possible, um, exactly as designed. The Ryobi, I think I had a dud, right? So it's not really a dig against Ryobi by, by any means. I think it's just the nature of these battery packs, no matter what manufacturer you get it from, you're gonna run into probably problems every so often. Um, I happen to really luck out with this unit, at least it, right now it's working fantastically. Um, so yeah, uh, no complaints at all about this charging system. It's fantastic. Um, I love it, matter of fact. So I think we need to wrap it up and do some final thoughts here. I don't need to make this a uh, super long video. There's other reviews out there about this system. I'm 100% happy with this. I'm definitely keeping it, love it. Uh, yeah, um, so let's talk about the pros here real quick. So it's a better design and overall ease of use than the Ryobi that I had previously. Um, it's so much easier to um, stow away here, um, extend the arms, what, the clips, the extensions, the everything, the ride height adjustment, it's all a little bit better designed than the Ryobi overall. It's quieter than the Ryobi, it's quieter than the Cobalt version um, that my neighbor has. Love the double blade system, I like the fact that you get an extra blade as well. It's lighter overall because of the plastic deck, um, and it still weighs a decent amount, right? Um, but it is slightly lighter than the Ryobi. The battery and charger system, phenomenal. Love this charging system. It's, it's working fantastically. 
And uh, you get a three year battery warranty and you get a five year uh, tool warranty here from Ego. So I already registered my product here. Hopefully I don't have any issues with it. Um, but yeah, those are the pros. So in terms of the cons, um, honestly, there's there's really no cons that I've that I've been able to find so far. The only thing, if I had to say something, is maybe it's the fact that I'm just getting used to these uh, battery-powered plastic mowers. But um, if your yard isn't perfectly level, there's some bumps and whatnot. When you drive over those bumps, it kind of feels like you're pushing this like Rubbermaid plastic bin with the wheels sometimes like you kind of get these weird plastic uh sounds and it, it's it's kind of hard to explain um i, I feel like it's like it kind of the sounds sort of reverberate in the plastic and it just it sounds kind of clunky um it kind of has like this sort of cheap feel to it um but again you know that's probably just the fact that it's it's all plastic and so anyway it's it's not really a, a con at the end of the day the mower is fantastic just because it sometimes sounds a little weird uh, when you go over bumps I mean that's not really a big deal at all so I'm I'm super happy with this in case you're wondering this is the model number LM 2135 SP um, and let's talk about pricing here right now so this thing retails at $650 um, that's retail price typically that I've seen at Home Depot and at Ace uh, Ace Hardware. Um, I caught it on sale for $600. Well, it was $599. And um, it's really expensive. Really expensive for a mower. Um, I feel that if you have the money and you're willing to spend that much, you're going to absolutely love this. Um, but if you can't stomach spending $600 on a self-propelled electric push mower uh, you know what you know my neighbors happy with his cobalt um, I have other neighbors with other electric brands um, I think someone has a Ryobi down the street you know everyone seems to like them overall it's just that you're getting really a bit more premium product with this ego they put a lot more I think design um, and effort into research and design into these products um, the ease of use all those type of things it adds a little bit extra value and that sort of justifies the the higher price tag um, I was a little bit lucky because I had some gift cards so I didn't have to absorb the entire cost if I had to pay out of pocket for the entire uh, cost $600 let's say it's on sale um, I think I would probably do it after knowing what I know now I would probably I would probably do it it'd be tough to stomach I think ego man they really got that price like right at the top end uh, they must have did a lot of market research to figure out like what's the most they can maximize in terms of the cost or the, in terms of the price and they really got it figured out so um, yeah, overall I like it and I think we're going to end the video at, at this point. If you have any questions, just let me know. Hopefully this will be the last of my lawnmower videos. Uh, I'm going to try to do something else here soon. Alright guys, take care.